this is Dylan Hartman from Durango Silver Company and I'm here today to talk about gold and turquoise. Most of the time when people think of turquoise jewelry they think of uh, silver jewelry but actually um, turquoise was probably put into gold first by the Egyptians and the Middle Eastern peoples that first put it into jewelry. And so I wanted to talk about how good turquoise looks in jewelry and in different colors of turquoise that's put into gold jewelry. So um, the first type of gold jewelry combines the first, uh, the first type of jewelry people think of, silver jewelry and gold jewelry. So this here is a ring that is uh, made of gold and silver. So the predominant part of the ring is sterling silver and then the ring features 14 karat gold accents here and then a 14 karat gold bezel in a nice beautiful blue turquoise stone. And this is also a good way if you like gold jewelry to get some turquoise jewelry in gold uh, that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. Okay, here's another ring uh, that is some high grade Kingman turquoise and again it is gold and sterling silver and uh, this one here has again a gold bezel and then it's sitting on a sterling silver uh, sheet and has a silver shank with gold accents. Okay, here's a two stone gold and silver turquoise ring and uh, this ring features two beautiful high grade Bisbee turquoise cabochons that have been bezel set in 14 karat gold and then you can see all the little designs here in 14 karat gold okay raindrop designs and then on this side there's a little flower design okay and um, you probably noticed from the rings that I'm showing you that we mainly are going to use our higher end uh, pieces of turquoise when we put them into gold uh, now we use very high-end turquoise in silver pieces uh, but if it's gold we wouldn't think of using anything but the very best okay from each mine so here's another one that's gold and silver again and now this piece has a green a piece of turquoise from the Damali turquoise mine in Nevada okay same thing again uh, gold bezel rope design and uh, little accents on sterling silver Okay, and then I have just one more of these mixed metal type of rings to show you. This is a beautiful large dinner ring with a high grade piece of natural Carico Lake turquoise that's been um, wrapped in a gold, they call this gallery wire or Victorian style um, bezel. And then it has a gold rope design, gold raindrops, and then little gold ring drops on the shank but the majority of the ring as you can see is sterling silver okay alright so then the next type of uh, gold and turquoise jewelry we're going to talk about this is an old style gold ring and this is solid 14 karat gold and it has a beautiful piece of Marenzi turquoise in it and, and this is kind of an older style design and uh, more southwesty design but again it's solid 14 karat gold okay now then I have some um, what I consider to be kind of more modern looking or Art Nouveau style gold and turquoise rings here's one with a beautiful piece of Carico Lake turquoise again and then uh, this ring as you can see yeah I don't know if you can see well enough in the video uh, but this ring was made and to kind of mimic like a plant roots or plant vines and uh, this is you know more contemporary styling and then the neat thing about this type of a design is that it's called lost wax meaning that the designs made out of wax around this particular stone and then once that uh, we take the stone out and then we'll melt the wax out and uh, make a, a cast a mold out of it out of like a plaster of Paris type substance and once that wax is burnt out this is the only ring that will ever be exactly like this so it's truly a one-of-a-kind ring okay now here's another one of those lost wax style rings 
uh, turquoise rings. This has a really neat kind of um, odd high dome turquoise mountain stone. You can see how high the dome is on this thing. Uh, this is another neat feature of the lost wax design is it allows jewelers to use um, a little more odd stones that maybe wouldn't fit in the bezel. And you can see how this has these neat handmade little prongs. And the prongs are real heavy uh, metal and so they, they're real hard to break and they really hold the stone in well. But you can see this is a little bit different design of that lost wax. Okay, uh, one more. This is another neat, real beautiful um, gold and turquoise ring. This has some high grade bisbee in it that's kind of got spider web to it. And uh, again, it's got that same plant root or vine looking design. You know, this is just a very, very beautiful ring. Okay. Here's a lost wax style pendant. Okay with a high-grade piece of Carrico Lake Turquoise. And uh, this is made in the Lost Wax design. And then something neat about this pendant is, is that this stone was cut like a nugget um, and then the stone cutter didn't, they didn't back it and they cut the back too so you have this beautiful stone on both sides of this pendant. Okay. Here's another type of gold uh, gold and turquoise jewelry. This is gold filled uh, wire and this is a wire wrap pendant. Okay, so this is done completely without solder and again you can see all sides of the stone. Okay, moving on to a, a very different style we haven't talked about yet. Here is some inlay gold and turquoise jewelry. Here is an absolutely stunning piece of 14 karat gold jewelry. It, this is a Panera brooch. It's a butterfly and it's been meticulously inlaid with natural blue gem turquoise. And this is the top, top grade of blue gem. You probably can't see this in a video camera, but in, in real life under a good daylight, um, this turquoise is almost like a jelly, has a jelly quality or, or like a marble. It seems like you could see into it an inch. It's so glassy and highly silicated. And uh, this piece here was made in the 1950s by a name, uh, excuse me, by a woman named Marion Packer. Okay, here's a, a, some showpiece earrings. And these feature some broken arrow turquoise and high grade sugelite in 14 karat gold. And even though these earrings are giant, the back of them is hollow. And so that really cuts down on the weight of the earring. And then you can see we cut the stones very, very thin and we actually inlay them into the earring in order to make the earrings as light as possible and as big as possible. Okay, here's some more big dangle earrings. These have been done in an inlay type pattern and these are Zuni Native American made. And uh, these have been done in what they call either cornrow or cobblestone inlay. You can see how the stones uh, look like a cobblestone road. Maybe like in Europe or somewhere like that. And these are done with Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Okay. Here's another beautiful inlay um, Victorian style. Let me show you this a little better, sorry. A Victorian style inlay turquoise bracelet that's been made with high grade broken arrow. And the, to me, the green uh, turquoise in gold is, is really striking. Almost looks like emeralds in gold. Okay. <clears throat> Here's another pair of little stud uh, 14 karat gold and Sleeping Beauty turquoise earrings. And again these have been done by Zuni Native Americans. And you can see the wonderful inlay job they did. I mean you can get a magnifying glass and and you cannot see the space between the stones and the metal. Last but not least here's a cute little classic 14 karat gold 
um, earring and pendant set. And this is just a neat little set if you want a little bit of color but you're a more subtle person and you don't want anything too overpowering. And this again features natural Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And this is probably very close to what would have been made uh, back in the days by the Persians and, and um, maybe not so much the Egyptians, probably by the Persians. Okay? And uh, hopefully that gives you a little idea of how good turquoise looks in gold. It really is beautiful in gold. And uh, if you'd like to see more, go look on DurangoSilver.com and there's a little button called Gold Jewelry. And you can go in there and browse all the gold jewelry and, and uh, kind of get a feel for what you think looks the most beautiful as far as turquoise and gold jewelry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.